Here's my challenge with email. It's when I need to send an attachment. Why does it always take me two emails to do this? <laughs> it always does, you know? First email will be something like, Dear team, I've attached that document we discussed. Please let me know if you have any questions. Followed by a second email that says, Oops! Oopsie! I forgot the attachment. Remember that attachment I mentioned? In that professional sounding email? Well, here it is in this stupid sounding email. It makes me look like an imbecile. But of course, before my second email makes it out, the messages from everybody else start pouring in. Hey, Neil, where's the attachment? Hey, Neil, you forgot the attachment. Hey, idiot, no attachment? And there's always one guy who writes, Hey, Neil, I'm having trouble opening the attachment. And I love that guy, because he trusts me. He's sitting there like, Neil said there was an attachment. It would not be like him to forget it. It's gotta be stupid old me, so. I have a weird situation with Twitter. All right, here's what it is. I have a Twitter account, but I never send any tweets. But here's the weird part. There are still tweets sent from my account. I know you're like, what? Let me explain what's going on. I work at a software company, and I'm one of our senior guys, so the marketing department has access to my account, and they send out tweets on my behalf, like announcing events coming up, or saying smart sounding things about our industry, stuff like that. And I agree to it. The problem is, most of the people in the marketing department are like 24 years old. <laughs> so I feel like sometimes the tweets they send out on my behalf are not quite in my voice, you know? <laughs> like last week, they sent out a tweet from me that said, hey, bruh. <laughs> Our software conference is gonna be lit. You're gonna be big mad and down bad if you don't pull up. Bruh, no cap. See, that's just not my voice. Uh, yeah.